Good day, folks. My name is Sean, and this is Air Photography. Today, we're going to be talking about whether the new controller that comes with the DJI FPV drone that's going to be launched next week on March 2nd, and whether it's going to be compatible with existing air units. I've been asked this question several times on some of the videos I've made about the DJI FPV drone, and I've seen that question pop up on some of the Facebook groups, and I've kind of given my opinion in there as well. Now, this video is completely speculative. I have no inside information. This is just kind of my thoughts on what DJI will do with the air unit and the new DJI controller. So here in front of me, I have the original DJI FPV controller that works with the air unit and the Cadex Vista. I have the new V2 goggles here, the ones that were just launched. And here in front of me, I have two kind of pre-built Built FPV drones. This one here by GepRC has the full air unit in it, while this one here has the Cadex Vista, which is basically a stripped down version of the air unit. So the question is, can this new RC that is being launched work with these existing air units? There's a couple reasons to think that it will and will not be. Now, what I mean by that is, I don't know if it will be compatible with the Generation 1 air units. Personally, I think we're going to see a Generation 2, a version 2 of the air unit coming out. Maybe not on launch day when DJI launches this new FPV setup, but I think sometime shortly down the road. Now, the reason why I think it will be compatible at some point, either with a new air unit or it may be perhaps even the existing air units with a firmware update, is if you take a look at some of the leaked unboxing videos that were uploaded to YouTube, on the side of the box where it shows the contents of what comes inside the package, it lists the FPV controller, and it's listed as controller version 2, which kind of is odd that they would do that on a brand new product. When they released the Mavic 2 Pro, they didn't call that controller version 2.0, they just the controller for the drone. So to me, if that controller was specific to that drone only, they would just call it remote controller. Controller 2 sounds like it's going to be part of a bigger package as well. You know, we have, we have the air goggles version 2, they list the controller as version 2, so that leads me to believe that there will indeed be a version 2 of the air unit. Now if that does turn out to be true, it doesn't mean that it's necessarily going to be compatible with air unit version 1. The original air unit is one band, uses the 5 gigahertz band, whereas the new controller and the new goggles are dual band, they use OcuSync 3.0. So I would have to assume that if they did release a new air unit, that new air unit could possibly be an OcuSync 3.0 air unit as well, which would be really fantastic. And I think from a marketing point of view, it would make perfect sense for DJI to make that controller compatible. After all, some people prefer those smaller, more compact game style controllers. Now another reason I think it would be a good idea for DJI to make that new controller compatible are for those who like to build long-range FPV drones. If they do indeed release an Air Unit 2.0 that does have OcuSync, that's probably going to give you one of the best connections of any FPV drone out there. It's rated at 10 kilometers and you're going to have the reliability of OcuSync. So I think that would be very appealing for a lot of people who do build their own FPV drones and want to get long range with it. So those are my thoughts on whether the new controller will be compatible with existing Air Units or perhaps, like I said, an Air Unit 2.0. Again, this is all speculative. I don't have any inside information. This is just my thoughts on what DJI perhaps could do. Now we should know a lot more on March 2nd. Now it doesn't mean we're going to know about the controller compatibility. That could be something that comes down the road with a firmware update. Well folks, that's basically it for this video. Of course I will be ordering that new FPV drone once it is available. So if you are interested in it or want to learn more about it, make sure you're subscribed to my channel as I will be covering it very thoroughly in detail over the coming months. I'm not a super experienced FPV flyer. I would consider myself a beginner still. I haven't had a lot of time on the sticks, so it'll be interesting to see uh, how that translates into this new FPV drone, and I'll be able to share the learning experience and how, uh, how things go. Well, folks, thanks a lot for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.